Team 18 forecast, weather from where you live. Temperatures this morning are into the mid to upper 50s right now as opposed to upper 40s, lower 50s yesterday morning. So a little bit warmer, a little bit more comfortable. 58 in Lafayette, 59 Monticello, 57 up in Rochester this morning. We have some storms, rain to the northwest. That's giving off some high to mid-level clouds for us this morning. We'd we'll be giving us a very nice sunrise as high pressures right over the New England states to the east. And that's opening up those southeasterly winds to move in, which will warm us up today. Then ultimately for tomorrow, we'll give way to a little bit more humid conditions for your Wednesday. And for this morning, though, we are clear. We should stay dry today again. We'll have that faint sunshine through these high to mid-level clouds. Otherwise, it'll be a decent day with temperatures rising up into the mid to upper 80s. We hit the highs of upper 70s yesterday. We'll be even warmer today with more sunshine in the afternoon hours. Southeast winds about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Really not bad of a day, just warmer for sure. Tomorrow will be even warmer and more muggy. We'll have heat index values in the lower 90s to mid 90s. Can't rule out an isolated shower early in the morning, but it will be more windy with winds out of the southwest, introducing more humid, uh, humid conditions. Highs in the mid to upper 80s to around 90 in some locations, gusts up to 20 to 30 miles per hour. So future cast for today, not much of a problem again. Some partly to mostly sunny skies, just these mid high level clouds. But not much of a problem. We'll clear out tonight. Notice those southwest winds entering here 8 o'clock this evening. Now for tomorrow morning again, there's those isolated, very light shower or two tomorrow morning. Uh, not much of a big deal, but going into tomorrow evening, we'll clear out. And then we will be seeing more clouds for Thursday for your 4th of July. May have a few scattered showers and storms early in the morning. This is 1030 in the morning Thursday. And we'll have another complex possibly here by 3 o'clock, but hopefully that will be it for the rest of the day. Most signals are showing more clearing Thursday night, but we'll certainly update the forecast as we're still about 48, uh, 50, 55 hours out from that forecast Thursday night. So we'll keep an eye on that for sure. Otherwise, we'll still see some more storms coming in the forecast for our Friday this week. So as we get toward the 10 day, 88 tomorrow, 83 on Thursday with the increased clouds and maybe some scattered rain showers here or there. But I do think maybe we could see some breaking here in those clouds Thursday night to allow for those evening shows for the fireworks. Scattered rain and storms for Friday and we'll see a clear weekend, 82 Saturday, 85 on Sunday. And it does appear we will be having another active pattern going into Monday through Wednesday of early next week with high temperatures reaching still the mid 80s here for us. So really not too much of a problem, but we are again watching very closely for that forecast for really the next several days as those scattered rain and storm chances do look possible Thursday and Friday. But for right now, I want to see, I want to say there may be just that window Thursday night <laughs> for potential to get those shows in. Well, I know it's crazy around my house. I can't imagine cramming it all into like a couple uh, dry hours. It's going to be like a war zone there yes. out in my neighborhood. For sure. Exactly. I will get all the uh, fireworks going here Thursday night, yeah. uh, just a couple hours. But yeah, uh, yeah well, we watch that closely. We'll mm -hmm. keep you updated. But as of right now, I do think we may see that window. We'll uh, we'll keep you updated. Firefighters are happy that uh, the ground, like you said, will exactly. at least be a little moist. Yeah, okay. That'll be good. All right. Thanks, David. Mm -hmm.